Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise. I'm Lamar Haven. Welcome back to Ogre Battle 64 and the climactic final battle with Goddess Donica herself. I've switched over Leia's unit to be led by Europea because my goodness did that shot hurt her a lot. Poor Leia got KO'd very quickly. And now it is time for everybody else to be ready for the fight. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment, I'm going to cut away and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. As you can see, everybody's ready to be moving back to their positions that they were at before. Everybody's still at the same health, fatigue, and everything. <laughs> the old units are still alive. So this is, for all intents and purposes, a continuation of the previous battle, which is bad. What exactly is going on here? All right, Bonaparte, Satros, two ogres, not a problem. Fritz, Damon. Two gro uh, goblins and an ogre. That's fine as well. Kodro, thank you for protecting Gypsonville, but I think you can get moving. Everybody else, I'm going to need you to start moving into different positions than you were at before. I need to spread you folks out, get you to make sure to keep those spawners closed while everybody else heads in for full power. The goddess Donica herself at Mount Kyrioleth. Lava shot twice from the middle row. Acid breath twice and then rotten breath twice from each of those. This is your back row is going to take an absolute beating. Have know that now. Uh, start heading in, Angaseth. You're going to be attacked from the side if you don't. Thankfully, I could take them from the side and be able to. Didn't mean to sound it like that, but I'm attacking them from the side. Good crit. Wipe out that character in one shot. All right, then go to Jihad to, with them in pretty optimal positions for taking damage, although I think with their formation, yeah, they would take optimal damage in relation to how much damage they would normally take. Never mind, I'm rambling. All right, your leader's dead. Hopefully that'll slow you down. That's you dead, Jihad, and then a heal, and then everybody else should be able to clear out that last goblin easy. So, would you believe that I've kept myself mostly unspoiled for the strategy of uh, this conflict? Let's see if I can handle it. This is way beyond anything I've tr ex I've experienced in this game thus far, folks. This is new and interesting. Bracer of protection found. A new unit immediately spawned. Oh, that's bad. So these little flowery things that are all around us, they're spawners. Which means I might be trapped. Hopefully if you kill enough of them, they either stop spawning or at the very least slow down. Good guard. Eh, he'll be fine. And wipe out that ogre. Good, because Jihad would not have finished him off. He's in the corner and obviously only taking 18 damage. Alright, everybody else should finish him off just fine. He'll get one more attack, hopefully at me. No, going after the paladin, fine. Well, if you wanted to grind XP, I found a way for you to do it, folks. That wiped that unit out and immediately fighting another one. Three units in a row. This is a mess. I'm going to have to have folks surround these plants and then do a full-on assault in the middle for Adonica. I wonder if I killed their leader and then left, if he, it would stop the spawning of units. An interesting idea, I might give it a shot. Emphasis on might. I'm getting a lot done by cleaning them out. And Jihad will kill him, alright. Well done. Still feels weird saying that word. Anyway. Uh, oh, yes, Swordmaster, good guard. And good kill. I think sword, my Swordmasters would start becoming less and less useful if I stacked them instead of Paladins due to the fact that their equipment draw is much smaller. Hey, sort of. Okay, so they've stopped appearing out of there. That means Ankaseth. That's good timing for you to stand on top of it. I'm going to move into a different position. I'm going to move into there. 
which is just outside the marsh. Bolt, you've got a ten you've got a group right in front of you. Two of them, in fact. Morris, back him up. Go after Ellie. Ellie is a Gorgon. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. I need Europea to quickly, quickly, quickly get to that strong, get to the Witch's Den. Because I need Leia back. I don't want anybody dead at the end of this mission, that's for damn sure. Oh, the Gorgon is gonna get a shot off! Oh, this is very bad, Bolt. That was a bow. You shot me with a bow. You can't use your vision attack from the back row because you would hit your ogre. Well then. Suddenly I'm feeling a lot less terrified of you. Keeping my elemental pedras, if you can't figure out why. This is the only boss fight that's actual boss fight in this game. Everything else is just against units that you could tempt you could probably make on your own. Of course I'm saving my elemental pedras. I also kind of need to be ready to run on those fights too, so I'm not sure I'll get to use them. But I'd rather have them and not use them than just waste them here against units that don't matter. Hey, we found a mirror of so. I'm gonna have Bolton Morris cover that uh, flower, and then I'm gonna have Anka Seth and I think Jody cover the other one. Everybody else is gonna be with me. Good guards. This is a pretty heavy unit, though. And the Q. Alright, so they're gonna get their hits in, but they've got pretty weak weapons by the looks of it, so I'm not terribly worried. Especially if Bolt's just gonna say fuck you to every attack. <laughs> well done, Bolt. Almost. One health. One bloody health. One more attack, and done. Whew, okay. So that's those units taken care of nice and efficiently, as expected from Bolt. And we found a crown of intellect for our troubles. Alright, Bolt, I'm gonna send you here. Morris, I'm gonna send you here. Ankaseth. I, I'm, if I camp him, I'm afraid that a unit will spawn on his face, so that strikes me as a bad idea. But I can camp myself. Oh hey, look, another unit. Now that would be the third unit that spawned from that flower petal, uh, flower. And I counted three at the other one. But we are already running into repeat units, so I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that either one, they have just have a ton of units that are going to keep spawning intervals, or two, they just keep spawning them infinitely. Either way, I do need to speed this process up a bit. No, come on, Bolt. There you go. There you go, buddy. Yeah, well done. <laughs> wow, guard three out of four attacks. <laughs> That's terrifying. Your dexterity must be monstrously high. Dead. Dead. Almost dead. Alright, now that you're running away, hopefully that'll mean something won't spawn, because I'm not chasing you. All right, Jody's coming to join me. They won't need to rest because they won't keep moving, thus they won't incur any more stamina depletion. Count, I'm really sorry, but I can't risk you moving. Kodro, come say, come up here and say hi with me. Donica wishes to speak with you about your treatment of your dogs. She's actually very impressed and wishes to give you a medal. Rest up, Jody. We're in a bad way. Come on up, Kane, and I'll rest you along the way. Oh, 
landed on his head. All right, I know that for sure now, that you can't just stand on it and stop them from spawning. So that means I'm going to have to move Ankaseth a little bit off. Close enough that he's still their main target, far enough away that he won't be attacked from the inside. Which is, I guess, the side, in this case. Lightning! If you wish to do so. <laughs> still, we're doing well. So far, no casualties except for Leia, and boy, wow, that took a, she took a lot of damage. I should have ran sooner, but I wasn't expecting her, uh, Donica to get five attacks before I could do anything. I didn't want to risk anyone else dying. I wasn't sure I'd get a chance to resurrect, you see. With the slash! Alright, that's going to push the unit away, which is fantastic. Gives us time to reposition. All right, Europea and Leia, I should say, go and take care of that. After she's rested, of course, which will be good because Leia will be at one health. Will you need my skills? Yes. Please be revived. Leia, do you see what's going on outside? You can't offer your services for free. Fucking goddess is at your doorstep. You just got a uh, hundred new acres of marshland. And demon goddess tendrils everywhere. Yes, everybody is alive and well now. Thank you. Crazy old lady. Alright, unit commands, change leader to Leia. Thank you very much for your assistance, Europea. Alright. Everything's solid. Kane, break camp. Wind, break camp. Jody, break camp. Uh oh, Gorgon. I hope it's the same exact setup as the last unit! It is! Alright, so we're not in danger of being petrified so long as they don't throw a different Gorgon unit at us. And I'm Fairly certain they won't. Phew, okay. Bolt's getting a lot of attention. At some point, I'm probably gonna have to switch his and Morris's position, though. Oof. That's still a significant amount of damage that I don't like. Word of pain. Here's my pain. Don't miss! Oof. Always worries me when you deal that much damage in between my heels. Somehow they're just as quick, or at least in the same ballpark as my back row. So it kind of coin flips, I suppose, to decide who gets to go first. So that means they can they can get two turns in a row before I get a chance to respond. Don't like it, but it happens. Oh hey, look at that! One per one unit character in the unit left alive. Shoo. At this point, I'm fairly certain that it's just going to be a permanent spawn, though. Lots and lots of units coming out. And we might just eventually fill up the entire battlefield. Leia. You need lots of rest, but I kind of need you to get to the battlefield soon. And it isn't time to be stingy with my items. I need you to be healthy enough for at least one battle, because you've got at least one, one unit I want you to fight. Wind, why aren't you joining me? I could have sworn I told you to. Yes, I'm no count. Why are you going through the marshlands? Jody! She was still ordered to go straight there. Oh dear. Alright, well, I had to go and fight her at some point. Acid breath, ow. Rotten breath, ow. If she goes, I'm screwed. I have to try. Look at how little damage you're taking! Alright, I'm gonna let the heal go through. If I'm panic if I'm in a panic situation, I'll run. If not, I'll be able to use my elemental pedra. Ooh. 
Lava shot. Oh dear. Okay, that hurt. I lost her. But that means I can keep going. Oh, my Pedras are still gone from the last battle! Why didn't I warn myself this would happen? Pedras deal one damage to her that I don't care anymore. Okay, I will only be using the run command, thank you. Oof. Okay. Actually, I think I should stay. Yeah, the lava shot's gonna hit Jody. I'm fine with that. But I have another annihilation and uh, at least one more row of attacks. And you only get two attacks for each of your units, characters in your unit. Right? Good. Okay. Got a better grasp of her mechanics now. Yeah, of course you lost, Jody. I'm fine with that. But now she's going to start healing. I might need to move everybody else in. Head for the stronghold. Ooh, new unit! Ankaseth. Say hello to Hendrickson. Hendrickson, Ankaseth's sword. And the heroes of the ogre battle. And Jihad from our Seraphim. Oops, you're dead. Boosh. Ooh, Debonair took a bad hit. That's fine, though. It'll be healed more than enough. Not enough damage from that Jihad attack, though. But I'm okay. Sorry, I'm going silent. I'm just trying to think of my strategy. The longer I wait, the more Donica will heal and Jody's attack will be pointless. However, if I go now and I do win, what something happens and I, I accidentally lose my cleric. Who in Jody's unit, I believe, is someone important? Katrina. Yeah, definitely important. Very much don't want Katrina to stay dead. Hey, you've got two units to chase after now, Leia. Clean up crew for them for me, would you? Mm, I guess I could have sent Leia out without healing her. I, I just needed her ha healthy enough that any melee units that went after her, she would survive until the cleric could heal. Priest. Sword of Moon. Oh, that wasn't the unit you were even supposed to go after. I'm really worried that any unit I send in, though, is going to get wiped out, because three attacks to the back row is just too much for any character to survive without being healed in between. So what's my other option? Have them run as soon as she attacks? Then I'm never going to get any attacks in. It's starting to look like I might have to sacrifice somebody to be able to get any hits in. Or be in a lot faster than her weird plant things. Even so, I still will have to face the majority of her attacks all at once at some point. Alright. No more wishy-washy. Like I said, I have to attack her at some point. Let's see what we can do. I'm not sending Kodro in because he'll have an even worse time of it. Because there's only one character in his back row to attack. Him. What I need in the back row is someone who's very, very strong magic defense. Because I'm pretty sure the breath attacks count as magic. As such, I think wind might be my best choice. Him and Saradin in the back row means a lot of defensive uh, magic defenses there. That said, they're also really low hit points compared to some other characters. I don't want to have to rearrange everything just to put some characters in the back row that can survive this mess. I wonder what it means that Europeo is the one who went to talk to Donica, because I'm pretty sure every walkthrough I've read has said the main character is supposed to do it. 
Oh hey, Grand Events left. My care cup is almost full. Wait, no it isn't. Alright, Donica. Thank you, Count! It was wonderful and dramatic of you. Yes, I'm gonna sit here and wait until we get something. There we go. Kane. One of our newest members. Let's see if you can handle it. Ass breath. Ow! Okay, that hurt. Oof, that also hurt. Don't guard! Guarding bad! Oh, this unit always gets guarded! Oh, that was a waste. Oh, I need to retreat. I also need to field pause. Okay, good. I can do both. I need to heal uh, Vad. He just can't take another hit. But that was good data. Tells me that this can work if the damage gets spread out. Damage gets spread out if she has more than one target to go after. Sometimes she'll choose another. Have to manipulate her AI to make this work. My turn. No, that's a breath bad target. Oof. She'll be fine though. My Seraphim are okay losses. In theory at least. Lava shot. I can take that hit. More than okay. I have the hit points. I can take it. Come on! Breakthrough? Not enough! But I still have one more set of attacks. You've got nothing left. This is it, Donica. This is the end. Yes! That has to be it, right? Hmm. The victory music appears to not be playing. Probably because that wasn't much of a victory. Donica was perfectly okay until everybody else got involved and exacerbated the infernal aura. Is she back to normal? Well, normal for a demigoddess, I suppose. Son of man, I thank you for... Stopping me. Please wait. Tell me one thing. Were you truly queen of the netherworld? Both good and evil reside within my heart. And as both god and human, I continuously sway between the two sides. I become the queen of the netherworld when my heart is filled with hatred. And peace of mind makes me the god of fertility. Which side I take depends on the consciousness that emanates from this world. Do you realize I'm just like you? Way of the darkness. The infernal aura reacts most strongly with those that have darkness inside of their hearts. Both you and the denizens of the netherworld share the same origin. Humans live on fertile lands. While the ogres live in the wastelands, controlled by hatred. That is the only difference. You are even more unstable than I. You are human and ogre at the same time. That is why it is possible for the ogre battle to occur without the influence of the netherworld. As humans fight among themselves and hate each other. Son of man, it was not by accident that you was selected as my vessel. This was all planned by someone with formidable power. Be careful. He, creator of chaos, is born of this land. The ogre battle cannot be avoided. Be careful, son of man. Goodbye, Danica, and thank you. becoming the goddess of fertility now? No, she's just leaving. Hmm.
well, we've done it. We've managed it after all this time. Humil, this battle is over. Went about it the wrong way, got manipulated by so many people. But in the end, his cause was good. Lamar, I knew you'd be here. You're thinking about you, Mel, aren't you? Not to say you should forget him. I think that's impossible. He's not here anymore. You are, though. I know you understand. The peace you've won. This dream, his dream is here, now. Those who followed you and fought with you are here. I enjoyed your company. Thanks for everything. We're heading back for Zenobia to inform our king of what happened. I'm sorry to say, but I believe the war with Lotus is inevitable. I don't know what our king will say, but I promise you that we'll return. What will you do now? Do you want to come with us? I will stay in Palatinus. This kingdom is in pain. Many were lost and the land has been trampled by war. I'm going to put my energy into rebuilding this kingdom. I don't know what I can do, but I'll do the best I can. To make this a place where people can live peacefully and exercise their beliefs. Saradin has said this to me often. Man has a responsibility to make the most of his talents and abilities. Believe in yourself. There's nothing you can't do. I'm looking forward to seeing the new Palatinus. Your kingdom. Destiny. Can you tell me about fate? Do we have no control over it? Did Yumil have to follow his fate that was predestined for him? Don't be mistaken. He didn't submit to his fate. He accepted his fate. And what's more, he lived for all he was worth. To some, their fates are decided at birth. The outcome isn't important. What's important is how each person lives his life. You must remember his courage, his determination to fight against his fate. Half year after the Revolutionary War, Frederick Raskin, the leader of the Revolution, succeeded the throne and sustained the Kingdom of Blackness. <coughs> I think I found where I went wrong. King Frederick governed the kingdom not for himself but for the people. This, ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise, is the neutral ending. Because he never sat on the throne, and his policies reflected the will of the people. He later became known as King Frederick the Benevolent. You see, in the full lawful ending, you become king a few years later. In the great battle that shook the entire continent, King Frederick met with an untimely death. I was completely wrong, and I guess I missed something. This isn't neutral ending, this is the lawful ending. Oh my. Upon his death, the rule Palatinus was given to a man, who was the late king's right hand man. And to spoil it, sorry, I was mistaken. Hurry up, Troy.
Hurry up, Troy. Get moving. Don't be hasty, father. Jeez. Sorry, Katrina. I gotta go now. Take care, Troy. Okay. I ship it. <laughs> Winnea, capital of Palatinus. I'm sorry for calling you back to battle. I'm sorry for calling you back to battle. Come on, don't think so badly about it. We're all concerned about it. Besides, if I can be of help, I can't just sit and watch. Right, Meridia? Yeah, Hugo, you worry too much. Don't you think it's about time you retired and let us take care of things? Huh, Liddell? Okay, that I also ship. Since when did you people get along so well? I didn't even notice until now. You think so? Maybe we've got a lot in common. I don't know. I never thought of it that way. <laughs> okay, yeah, I kind of shipped that. <laughs> Outskirts of the Holy Lotus Empire. He is coming. We'll continue north from here. Vod, I entrust you with the south. Leave it to me. You're a peer. Destin, he is coming. With his comrades. Winnea, capital of Palatinus. King Frederick's death will be deeply mourned. You must not let our hearts be filled with hatred. You must not forget. Your true adversary lies within yourself. It's your weakness of heart, your negative emotions. Remember your parents who loved you. Remember those whom you love. Don't ever lose sight of your humanity, your kindness. Everybody, let's go. We will win our future. Lamar Gallant, the Palladian King. For his valor in defending the continents of Zetigenia and Galicia from invasion of the Eastern Barbarian tribes. and for practicing the republican policies of his predecessor. He will be remembered as a great king of strength and wisdom. His legacy will be carried on by his son, Prince Aeneas Gallant. And that, everyone, is the end of Ogre Battle 64. Wow. Almost a year of my time <laughs> in this. And of course, they try and ruin the background. <laughs> so first off, I want to say thank you very much to everybody who suggested a character and helped participate in this game. Honestly, there, I could not justify playing a game like this as an LP for as long as I have without some form of viewer interaction. This was a big step in me and LPs for many reasons. One, figuring out if I could handle long haul LPs. Two, figuring out if uh, what kind of ways and how I should prepare for viewer interaction and editing techniques that I've learned along the way. Uh, how to edit and when I should and shouldn't edit and 
everything along the way. Just every single time I do a new LP, I make it a point to take a step up in, in my production quality of somehow. Um, whether it's new equipment, learning how to use it better, or stuff like that. With this game, I made incremental steps as I played more and more, thankfully, instead, because it's just such a long, amazing game. I didn't expect it to go quite as well as it did, but you might know that I, if you've listened to a lot of my videos on uh, Ogre Battle 64 or you've listened to me on Twitter, I said this isn't a very good game to LP, and I wish to kind of explain that. This is a very long game, and the battles themselves are very little control or interaction from me. Which is to say that while it leaves me free for commentary, it doesn't make for very interesting commentary. And I... That's not to say anybody who watched this here dumb. Of course not, absolutely not. If you watched this and you had fun, I'm so gr glad that I could do that for you, and I'm so glad you could find some interesting stuff to experience from this game. If you wish to play this game, there aren't many hard copies out there, as my understanding. You'll have to find them off of eBay or whatnot. <laughs> Apologies. Um, I suggest, honestly, and this sounds weird because I'm kind of suggesting you do something that's actually technically illegal, I say just get a ROM and play it, just to at least try it out if this interests you. If you're not terribly interested in it for a couple of reasons, I can totally understand that. This is a very slow game. It is, like I said, doesn't actually require all that much interaction from you at times. If you know where the characters are going and where you want them to go, then you're set. You could almost put the controller down for several minutes at a time and let the automatic battles work the way, work out. So, I mean, that said, there's so many Let's not talk about the gameplay elements, because like I, I've probably harped on those a lot. Let's talk about the story of this game. I think some of the strengths of the story of this game is that it allowed itself to face certain things, but it could have gone a lot further. It didn't go quite as far on some elements that it could have. And it also allowed itself to be stretched among multiple games. I think that it suffered because of that. But that said, it was still a very fun game, an amazing ride, and thank you for every single person who joined me in uh, watching watching me play this game. Anybody, uh, commenters, just plain viewers, if you just dropped in for a, an episode or two that you thought was interesting, I thank you a lot. Oh wow, my chaos frame was 100 points, my total was the max amount of days, because <laughs> you might remember from my item glitch episode that I went to the max amount of days because I wanted to get all the birthday stuff. So that's maxed out on that end. So for one final time with this game at least, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time when I come out with my next LP, Cave Story Plus. See you then.